it was always a dream of mine. You know, I always grew up wanting to go pro, wanting to play at the, the biggest level, playing in Champions League and yeah, all these, you know, all these kinds of competitions. You've had a pretty intense, I don't know, I guess 18 months or yeah, so. Yeah. Like, how would you describe what the last 18 months has been like just to, to process? Yeah, it's been a crazy, I mean, from the start of my career, it's been crazy, you know, it's been an upward trend and I'm really proud of all the, the steps I've taken as a player and, and learning and growing and I think I'm still growing and I think I have a lot of room to grow. Can you just start uh, kind of at the beginning? Where did you grow up? Um, you know, what was your sort of introduction to soccer? How did that come to be? I grew up in Medford, New Jersey pretty small town, everybody knows each other, and yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big soccer town, and I started playing for Medford Soccer Club. My dad had me involved, and I was always watching it, and I'd do extra training at a really young age, and he'd have me doing it, he'd be out there with me, and yeah, I think from a young age, I felt like I was maybe a little bit better than most of the kids. So at what, what point along the way did you start to realize, okay, like, this is not just, I'm a little bit better, like, I could play for a club team, there might be some interest, you know, like, when did that happen? Yeah, like I've always been a kid that thinks in the moment, but I mean, I think towards when I started playing with the second team, I was like, okay, this could be real, you know, but it was always a dream of mine. What do you remember about the first time you heard that a European club was looking at you? I saw some things on the internet were probably weren't true at the time, but they were interested, some teams that were interested, but yeah, I heard from my agent the first time that they, some teams were interested in me and just ecstatic and just thinking about all the hard work I had gone through and all the sacrifices I made to, to get to the point that I am. And yeah, it was, it was a huge moment for me. What was it like to arrive there? And, you know, it's a new soccer situation, but it's also a new life situation. Yeah, it's a totally different way of life in Europe, you know, and especially in Austria, it's, it's totally different. Um, the city of Salzburg is just a super, super really nice, really old city. A lot of, there's an older people kind of scene there, so it's not as young and as hip as it is in Philly, but yeah, I mean, it's, it was different. And <laughs> me having to learn to live on my own, cook for myself, figure out how to put furniture together, do all these little things. It's, it's different for me, you know? I think the first time I was in the grocery store, I was probably spent like two hours there trying to get everything together. And yeah, I think just the way of life in general, it's just a culture shock when you first get there. Did you have any like nerves about, okay, I'm in Europe, this is what I've wanted to do. Yeah. Can I perform at the level that, you know, allows me to stay here and, and go bigger? Yeah, of course there's nerves. I think when you're getting on the flight, you're just thinking about, oh, will I be able to play? Will I make it over here? Like you hear about a lot of players that don't make it, all these kinds of things. And that's always goes through your head. But for me, it was just thinking positive and knowing the player I am and what I can do. And yeah, just going into the, to the team myself, you know, be myself. And yeah, I think it worked out for me. And I also had Jesse Marsh there at the time. He's another American. He played for, he, I mean, he played in the league. He coached Red Bull. So he was a big help to me. At what point did you feel like, okay, I'm on the radar for the national team? At what point did that sort of enter your mind? Honestly, when I got called up for the first time, I wasn't expecting it. It was October. I think Greg had seen me been playing in the MLS, been playing well. I had some good U23 camps, and I think that's when I first got kind of on the radar. But I really wasn't expecting that at the time, but to be called in and just be a part of the group and get to meet a lot of the guys, it was an awesome experience for me. What was it like to get that call from him? And I yeah. mean, were you just sort of, when you saw the number, were you kind of like, whoa, what's happening? Well, it came up as an unknown number at first. So I, I was like, okay, it's, it's a random call. It could be good. It could be a telemarketer. So I think I'm going to pick it up just to make sure. And yeah, it was an awesome, all awesome talk with him. And yeah, there were so many emotions that came after that. How would you describe your game? Like what, what are the things that you know you can do well that you can bring to this team? Yeah, like, the ways that I would describe myself is just energetic. I like to get after, I'm, I'm relentless. I like to just, I like to make stuff happen always, you know, with the ball at my feet or running in behind. And I think the biggest thing for me is just, just always making stuff happening and just being busy. Greg has described your game as the kind that's annoying to yeah. play or coach against. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming you would take that as a compliment? Yeah, for sure. I think that anybody that anybody that I've talked to says that I'm like a little pest, I guess you can say. I'm always around them. I'm always making runs. Yeah, just doing things with the ball. And yeah, I think that's a good way of putting my game in a good way. But yeah, I mean, that's how I play. And I just, I want to help the team always. You've had, you know, a, a lot of memorable moments already and yeah. only like a dozen or so <laughs> appearances. What stands out for you, you know, of this sort of short time period? What are the ones that are going to be, you know, sort of permanently in your brain? Yeah, I think even though I didn't get in the game, I think the Nations League win over Mexico, being a part of that game, being part of a USA-Mexico game was an awesome experience for me. And personally, 
I think my goal against Canada, um, it was awesome to get that goal to go ahead in qualifying. I know it ended up in a tie, but in the moment to hear the crowd, to have your teammates come running up to you and stuff, it's just an, it's an awesome, awesome feeling. How would you describe that goal? I mean, do you remember it sort of coming together? Like what Yeah. What do you see when you think of it? I see just myself. Uh, I think the center back got it, and I knew I could press him and maybe nick it off him, and, and I did, and it went to Jordan. Jordan laid it to Christian. Christian got fouled, and then it was played out wide to Kellen, and then Anthony came around and came, did it overlap and came around, and then he played the ball, and then it was a cross, and I was just in the right place at the right time. Must have felt pretty good, I mean, like w to see it in the back of the yeah, net. Yeah, it was just – a relief, you know, it was a tough game the entire game, and then to get that go-ahead goal, it was a really awesome feeling. For the, you know, sort of the MLS fans um, who are, have followed your career, what can they expect from your brother? Is he following kind of the same path, it seems like, or at least the early stages? Yeah, you see me smiling because he had just scored. And yeah, I mean, I'm a huge fan of my brother. I've been playing with him my entire life. He's my biggest rival in our little sessions that we have. And yeah, he's he's an amazing player, and I think he's got such an amazing future with the union. and anywhere else that he goes with his career, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy for him and he's just got to keep performing like he has. How do you compare like as players, you know, yeah. who, who, who has the, what strengths and who has what weaknesses? Honestly, I think we're a lot alike. Um, <laughs> we move, a lot of people say we move the same, we look the same on the field because we're both a little skinny and lanky and yeah, I think that, I mean, I would say we're a, a, like the same player. I mean, he's got this final third touch to him and I think I'm developing that, and yeah, I think that he's just an amazing player the way he is. With this young core that the national team has, yeah. obviously it's a very different feel to the team than it was when there were veterans around. Yeah. What does it feel like to be a part of a group where there is such sort of a youthful presence? Yeah, it's fun, you know, everybody's always making jokes, cracking jokes, we're always having a good time as a team, and that's what you need, you know, when you're getting away from these games, it's always high pressure, all these kinds of things, and it's it's tough sometimes, but to just come back and have a great time with the guys and smile, it, it always refreshes you. You're playing at a position where the U.S. has a lot of depth, has a lot yeah. of talent. Was there ever a point along the way where you were sort of like, man, you know, if I was just playing, you know, a different spot. Yeah. Maybe I would be breaking through even sooner. Yeah, I feel like I can even play the center mid position. I feel like I can play that too. I feel like I have some different positions in me. I mean, I play the 10 at my club, which is a center mid, and it's almost like a false nine. I play play that at my club. So, yeah, it's, it's different for me. And coming here, I, I love playing winger too, and I can make runs behind. I can be busy. I can get on the ball. So, yeah, I mean, it was never like looking at that and being like, oh, yeah, Christian's there. Like, it's going to be tough for me to get in. I understand that, you know, he's an unbelievable player. So it's finding ways to get on the field. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.